Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create this isometric text animation in Adobe After Effects. This video is divided into two parts. In the first part, we are going to learn how we can create the text in Adobe Illustrator. And on the second part, we are going to learn how we can animate it in Adobe After Effects. So before we start, all I want from you is that to hit that subscribe button as it helps me out a lot to grow my channel on YouTube. Thank you so much. Now let's begin. I'm inside of Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to click on create new to set up a new artboard. The artboard is set to 1600 by 1200 and the color mode is on RGB. Now, if it's your first time opening Illustrator, go towards the window panel and select the Essential Classic. And I'm going to reset the Essential Classic so that we start on the same page. Now, the first thing I usually do is that I will open the layer panel which is in here and I will drag it over here to have a better view of the layers. Now I need to bring my color palette and I'm going to do it by going towards the file tab and I'm going to select the place. And I will choose the color palette file and I'm going to hold left click and I will drag it like this. And I'm going to rename it to color guide by left clicking on the layer in here. Also, I'm going to lock the layer so I don't move it by accident. Now, if I click on this little plus icon here, this will create a new layer. Now, I'm going towards the rectangle tool and in here, I can change the color of the shape. However, since I have a color palette, I'm going to select it and I'm going to get a color from the color palette. Now, I'm going to click and drag to draw a shape and I'm going to call it background and also I will place it beneath of the color guide layer. Now I will select the type tool and I will create a new layer and I'm going to type the word no. And I'm going to change the font to impact. Also, I will set the font size to 500 and I will use the align tab in here to center the text. By the way, if you don't see the align tab, you can bring it back in the window panel in here. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the text color from black to a grayish color. Well, because the effect we are going to apply next, it doesn't work very well on the black color. Now, let's go to the font part. I will select the text and in the effect panel in 3D section, I'm going to select the extrude and bevel. Now, make sure you have the preview box checked. Now, in position tab, there are presets that can help you to set your text along with your desired perspective. And I'm going to set it on isometric top. And I will use this cube in here to rotate it like this. Once everything is set, I'm going to click on OK. Alright, now we have our text in perspective, but still we need to turn it to a shape layer since we need to animate it in the way after effects. So if I select the text and I go towards the object panel, I can click on expand appearance. Now, if I click on this little arrow here, as you can see, we have everything on shape. However, they are grouped. To explain that, it means that there are like pre-compositions in After Effects. So, in order to make it work in After Effects, I need to unlock these pre-comps. So, I'm going to right click and I'm going to ungroup them. Now that everything is ungrouped, I'm going to select each shape and I will place them in a new layer. Now, I will change their name. Now, one important thing you need to pay close attention to is that 
When you use this method, Illustrator sometimes generates too many points for a shape. Since we mostly need to animate using the path property in After Effects, I highly suggest to remove the extra points and adjust paths before you get to After Effects. So here's the result of part 1 in Adobe Illustrator and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Now I'm inside of After Effects and I have brought the design into After Effects. Now the first thing I will do is that I'm going to select all of the layers except the background and I'm going to use motion tools to turn them into shape layers. Now on the next step I'm going to assign a color to each layer so I don't confuse them. Now color labeling is a great way to distinguish layers when you are working with too many layers. Now, before we jump into animating, I will check my composition settings. I usually work on 24 frames per second. Now, I will select the end front layer. The way I'm going to animate is that I will start the movement by an anticipation, falling into the main action, which the letter jumps, and lastly, I will finish it by adding a follow through. By the way, if you like this video so far, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as it would help me out a lot to grow on my YouTube channel. So I will set a keyframe at 0 and then 4 frames forward I will set another keyframe for anticipation and then 10 frames forward I will set another keyframe for the main movement and again on the 10 frames forward I will bring it back to its original position. Now for the anticipation I will move the letter 20 pixel down and then for the main action I will push it up for 60 pixel. Now the easing is the important part of this animation, so I will turn the keyframes into a standard easings. Now on my graph editor, the first thing I do is that I'm going to click on the fit graph to view so I can see the keyframes better. Now the anticipation starts with a sudden movement, so I will drag the right handle towards the left and the left one towards the left again. And now I will select the middle keyframe and I will push the left handle towards the left creating a sudden release and then right one towards right. Now since I want the letter to stop at the air, I don't push the middle keyframe up. Now let's watch. Ok, now I will select the keyframe and I will apply a bounce expression which creates a follow through action for my animation. Now I will put the expression down into my telegram channel so you can download it there for free. Now in order to make this expression work, we need to change the last keyframe to linear. Now we need to adjust the following letters, so I'm going to set a keyframe on the path for the end shadow. Now we need to adjust the following shadows, so I'm going to set a keyframe on path for the end shadow layer and I'm going to adjust its path according to the position keyframe that I made. You can select the path keyframes and then press Ctrl plus T to get a control over the path and then you can adjust them. For the third keyframes, I'm going to select the upper Bezier paths and then I'm going to press Ctrl plus T, then I will push them up using the up arrow key. Now, since the easings should be equal on each set of keyframes, I will use the free plugin called EaseCopy to copy easings from the position and paste them into the path keyframes. Remember, the bounce expression doesn't work on the path keyframes, so I need to adjust the follow through frame by frame.
Now that you are familiar with the process, I suggest to play a music and start adjusting the rest of the letters. So I will start animating the other letters quickly. Now, here's our animation, and we need to add more details to it. I will select the end front layer and I will duplicate it twice, and I will change its color. Now, I will select these three layers and I will hit U to reveal the keyframes. On the third keyframe, when the main action happens, I will select the third layer and I will push it up. Same thing for the second layer. Now I will readjust the colors in the way that the yellow color should be on top. Now I will do the same thing for the old letter. Cool, now I will select the background layer and I will create a shape from the vector layer. I'm going to set a keyframe on the background color and then I will change the color when the letter jumps. And I will turn them into a whole keyframe so there won't be any color changing in between. Lastly, I will quickly adjust the keyframes. Now I will select the end layer and in add menu I will add a stroke. I will change its color to black and I will set the stroke width to 8 pixel. Now I will also change the caps. Lastly, I will copy and I will paste it for the rest of the layers. Now for the last step, I will add an adjustment layer and I will add a posterize time effect to make a cartoony and hand drawn effect. We can also experiment with different effects such as glow for a better result. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.